Welcome to your 22222 portal reading. The true Lion's Gate portal reading for the year. Welcome to the channel, Cancers. Welcome back, my OGs. Thank you for your beautiful, loving energy on the channel. Thank you for all the ways in which you support the channel. By your likes, your subscribes, and your shares. I do appreciate you, Cancer. Thank you now. Cancer, I'm jumping right in for you. You pulled your archetypes today for the ocean. The ocean. You also have the threshold. The threshold. And you have the poet. The poet. What these archetypes are talking about, the energy maybe even that you are activating for this portal, this time in your life, Cancer, it's about there is an unconscious, somewhat hidden element of your own emotion and how deep you want to go. There are feelings maybe even that you have kept down that you have yet to explore. There's an internal visionary in you that I think you want to explore. Um, you're on the brink with the threshold of uncovering a new aspect of yourself. And I feel like there's like a floodgate of emotion that's going to kind of like erupt out of you, maybe even quite suddenly. The poet is kind of is talking about First of all, there may be a significant poem or something in your life that you may want to go and revisit, Cancer. But also the poet is talking about the spiritual essence that is within you, the legacy that you're meant to, to, meant to leave. Because you are a storyteller. You are a storyteller, Cancer. And you relay, you relay your thoughts through words and through the written word or even the verbal word. The word is very important to you, Cancer, because it is partly your identity. And I feel like many of you are, have been afraid to go deep in your emotions and you're gonna be called to go much deeper than you ever knew possible. You haven't wanted to go there because going there requires some level of, of healing, which can be frightening because it is stepping out on a limb, stepping out into the unknown, which is scary to us all, um, becoming a different version of yourself that you didn't see coming, um, which is part of the shedding that we have been doing this whole past year removing relationships out of our lives that no longer serve us. Um, that's what we're all going through right now because we are becoming the new versions of ourselves. That doesn't line up with who we once were. Who, who we were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, or a week ago. We are not the same we are not who we used to be. The Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. New beginning. We are like children. We are being reborn. We are like children. And that's important. I feel, speaking of like poetry or something that made you happy, maybe even as a child. Um, seeing as many of us, you are no exception, are doing a lot of deep soul healing at this time, even from as far back as your childhood cancer. Something from your childhood may be very significant to you. You may be even over the next two days or... Uh, for this portal energy, you may be going back and just looking at old things that you've done. Like if you have any 
artwork that you did as a child or you have any music or poetry of your own that you did maybe you're going back and looking at how you have transitioned from the person you were to the person you are now i personally think it's beautiful to do that how deep is the ocean how high is the sky some of you are going to be very happy you're going to go after your own sort of wish fulfillments that you never knew you could feel and express yourself in this way it's going to bubble you up and boil over not necessarily a boil it's just like gonna spill over is what i feel the need to say it may occur in your dreams with the four of swords four of swords we sleep with one eye open a blue eye maybe an evil eye even could be maybe you need protection could be have to do with your ideas your your thoughts, your original ideas, Cancer. You want to protect it. You want to protect your original ideas. They're yours for a reason. You awoke and you have awakened this, this knowledge within you. Look here. Look at your similarity here. Sorry, there's kind of a freeze on my computer, but that's beautiful if it's still going. Hope so. Ah! Did we pause? Okay, yeah, we're still there. All right. <laughs> See the blue eyes here? Blue eye. Evil eye. But also protection. Because evil eye is about protection. Protecting our ideas while we sleep, our original ideas, healing, healing. You will receive many ideas, I feel like, in your dreams, Cancer, so pay attention to your dreams. Maybe some of you are going to keep a dream journal, or you've been keeping your dream journals, or logs, trying to recall things that you remember in your sleep, doing it first thing in the morning when you wake up. Um, making it that point, I want to also say meditation with you with this, to... Meditate for 10 to 20 minutes every morning, especially if you're waking up maybe between the witching hours of the morning or you're awake at that time between 3 and 5 o'clock in the morning, 2 and two and 5 o'clock in the morning or kind of like the witching hours. Um, do a light meditation. Listen to s frequencies and things like that. I think it will help you tap in and just remember too that sometimes it's not important that you pin down a, a significant like occurrence in a dream although if you remember great the act of just allowing your mind to drift wherever it needs to go will reveal to you what it is that you need to see. It's not about forcing it in any particular direction. It's about allowing it. Allowing what you need to see to come to you. You may not even interpret what you see or what you feel, what you experience as anything significant at first until it lines up later with something you saw, like, like that. Like an occurrence, like that. Where should Cancer focus at this time? Thank you. Page of Wands. You have good news coming, Cancer. The Page of Wands. Something new. Information. I think you're gonna take your ideas and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna expound upon them. You're going to create something out of them. It's creative energy, it's action, it's fire, it's a pyramid. And it's going to, like, transition a stage here. It's funny how these cards are all kind of lining up, like, even in the, the color palette here. The color wheel, like, they're all kind of lining up with each other. That's so weird. 
the threshold. The threshold, yes. The threshold with the Page of Wands here is stepping in from one reality into another. They're, they're all, you're on the brink of seeing something, of doing something, and of putting your thoughts and plans into action. Building up. It's a building up of a sensation, I also feel the need to say. One reality into another. That is so cool. Uh -huh. Wow. This is what I love about tarot. I create, this is my personal deck, by the way. I drew these images. These are, this is my personal tarot deck. But it's so funny to me how, how beautiful tarot is in that way. Because when I created these cards, I had no idea how they would relate to other things. It's just, it's so neat. Where you should not focus cancer. Interesting. King of Cups, the King of Cups, the Elixir, with the purple lotus flower behind, healing lotus flower, the lotus flower behind the King of Cups. This could be simply just another water sign in your life, Cancer, where you should not focus. Something hasn't been going a certain way. It's been stalled. What I feel like this is trying to tell you is not to be rigid in your thinking. And it's something to do with your home, with the Four of Wands here, your ideas, the union of ideas, the union, the emergence, the emergence here. Wow. Again, all these color color themes are so similar. That is so neat. And it's putting your ideas into motion. Why the King of Cups, though? Why the King of Cups? Something, and again, it's about our emotions. You're afraid to go into your emotions, but that's also partly exactly where you're being told to go or that you will need to go, and that will f feel frightening to you. You don't want to get lost there. Wow. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. This is either a significant counterpart in your life, Cancer, or this is partly, maybe even to do with like your career, a union, a union here with the four of wands underlying this. This could be a marriage, but also this is the union of ideas because the queen of wands is an influencer. She's an action taker. It's about status. It's about career, maybe. And I feel like many of you, this does pertain to your careers, especially with the poet here. You are a storyteller. The trajectory that you are meant to go down, the, the road that you are meant to go down, Cancer. Um, for some of you also, I feel like this is not pertaining to necessarily all only Cancer. This is obviously is not pertaining to Cancer sun signs only. This is wherever Cancer falls in your chart, by the way. Um, and there are multiple messages here for you, Cancer, so you may want to check out other readings as well on the channel. So, the Queen of Wands, though, is saying to the King of Cups, I want to take my passion and turn it into my career. Turn it into my profession, my creativity, my emotions, my inspirations that are mine. That I haven't, I've slept on these ideas for a long time. But now I need to put them into action. Four of Wands. Advice, please, for Cancer. Don't sleep on your ideas, then. Precisely. The Fool. The Fool. I want to have a new beginning with you. Now, for some of you, this could be quite literally also just a counterpart. A person that you want to have a new beginning with. Okay? 
maybe the start of a fresh relationship. Maybe that's where, and again, you know, with all this emotions here, this is heavily where we're kind of focused. You want to have an emergence, a, a, a new start, a rebirth. That seems confusing to you. But the Seven of Wands, excuse me, the Seven of Cups here, there's an illusion here. You don't want to get caught up in the illusion of, well... Which way should you really go, Cancer? Where should you give your focus? Up, down, left, right, yes, no, him, her. There's so many decisions to make that they lead to confusion. And you take no action because you can't see where you're going because you're in the dark. So focus back on your water, Cancer. Focus back on the water, the ocean. The ocean is where you will find your answer inside the king of cups is where you will find the answer within yourself seven here yeah, seven seven is very significant you have the number seven here as well ending as we end And a decision after that, two of wands. Something that could, is a, it's a gateway, a gateway. And an ace of cups after that, a love offer. Self-love, self-love, and you're using your intuition at this time, and you need to know more. The gateway, which road do you go down? Which path do you choose? There is no wrong choice. Truly, there is no wrong choice. And I feel like for many of you, um, oh, how do I describe this? The sensation and the energy that I got just now was, it's the act of, of, of learning to trust yourself to make any kind of decision. Because there is no wrong choice. Allow yourself to make any decision, any decision whatsoever. It's just the act of exercising that muscle inside of us, that decision muscle. For many of you, the reason why you've slept on your ideas for so long, or you've swept, slept on the actions that you knew you wanted to do in this lifetime or to take, or exactly like the action, the decision, the doing, you've slept on it because... It was also confusing before. You, Many of you have suffered from not having your wish fulfillment in the past. Whether that was it being stripped away from you or whether that was circumstance. Whatever it is, I feel like you never quite could live up to your potential. And every time, every time that happened to you and at various stages in your life, it knocked away significant it chipped away significant parts of your identity of who you are if you have any scorpio in your chart you may want to go check out their reading but cancer what you're being asked kind of like by essentially by the universe now is to not be afraid of your emotions to literally just play in the energy so that you can get accustomed and used to making the decisions that you would have made had you properly made them growing up. A lot of this is very, um, I'm not laughing at you by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this energy because I feel it so, so strongly for you. It's, it's this sense of identity that you want to regain. Bravo, by the way. Um, and it's about doing it scared, even if it scares you. It's just, just playing, playing in this energy, allowing yourself to play in who you are with protection. Okay. And blue again, blue, 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 blue. So blue could even really like be just a prominent color for you right now. Like, 
blue is also about the throat chakra. And funny how we have the poet here. Like I told you, Cancer, you're you're a storyteller. You or you're or you work in the entertainment industry, right? Something to do, something with your voice and something with your emotions. Maybe you're a singer. Maybe you're uh, in the music industry, a rapper, hip hop, R and B, whatever. Country. I don't care. It's it's all. It's about using your voice in a very creative way to express yourself going to those deep dark places and maybe for some of you that's where you will find your 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 biggest inspiration to tell your story your story cancer because <sighs> poets have to do that they have to go to those weird places that nobody understands okay they speak subtext they speak poetry is the subtext of the universe Right? And one can get lost. One can get lost in confusion. When you don't know which way to go, much less where you're going when you go, when you make a decision. But when you make a decision, two of wands, a choice, any choice, any choice is better than no choice. When you do that, you find love. Love. And there you are, the moon. The moon. Someone has hidden intentions. You do. But it's about facing your fears. Cancer, let's read your healing card. Oh my god. Look at that. Your healing card. Look at that. <laughs> ah. Can't make it up, guys. Here and now. Thank you. Oop. Some oh my headphones almost just fell off. Headphones like music. Music. Oh my god. Cancer! Something you're listening to, again, like meditation, as you sleep, maybe? Alright. Here and now, the future does not exist, and the past is gone. I focus on the present moment. I have confidence in life again, because here, now, there is no danger. Everything happens when my soul is ready. Wow. Cancer. I want you to see something really quickly. Look at that. This is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Everything happens when my soul is ready. You don't even have to force it. It's just going to happen. God, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous energy. Mm. Your sacred destiny card, Cancer. The butterfly. Transformation. This is appropriate. I'm going to... Okay. Your light, before I read you this card, your light code energy cancer is number four, the heart chakra. The heart chakra, green, right? We think of the heart as like red or pink. No, it's green. Green is the heart chakra, okay? The frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body, which is really beautiful. Cancer, you can take a screenshot of this if you absolutely want to, and you can even meditate on the energy. Okay. Mm. 
the mandala here, the flower of life that connects connects us all and our chakras, okay, is just healing just looking at it, okay? And you have green and blue here and green and blue here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. Green and blue, the butterfly of transformation here. Wow, look at your synchronicity. Green and blue may be very, um, some of you are really going to be speaking something into existence, I feel the need to say. You're using your voice to transform your world, and it's gorgeous. It really is. You guys are profound, intelligent, and such deep feelers you don't even get it you don't you don't get enough credit and you don't even give yourself enough credit it's no accident that the butterfly represents transformation rebirth and resurrection remarkably when the caterpillar becomes a chrysalis it doesn't just instantly become a butterfly it actually dissolves into a kind of soup in other words, it liquefies itself. And out of that emerges something completely different. It is a true transformation. In some cultures, blue butterflies are considered very good luck and even wish granters. The Native American tribes, in Native American tribes, it is believed that a wish whispered to a butterfly will be granted when it flies to the heavens. The Native American shawl dance, which celebrities renewal, which, which celebrates renewal. I said celebrities for a reason. Hey, <coughs> is derived from the butterfly dance. Also, the color blue represents a calmness, peace, and spiritual attunement. And the blue butterfly is thought to carry all of these meanings. This is a time for change, reinvention, or a rebirth into a new way of being. Look at what I, look at my shirt. Sorry guys, look what I'm wearing. <laughs> I don't know my shirt, I'm sorry, look at that. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening here? Okay. Ay, this is a time for change, reinvention, or a rebirth into a new way of being. If you've been plodding along, this card suggests that you take measures to shift everything. God. Don't resist change. The blue color suggests a spiritual renewal or initiation. Transformation doesn't mean taking something old and remodeling or rearranging a few things. It means becoming something completely different or doing something completely different. Change is often uncomfortable, but it is usually for the highest good. This is a very lucky card and drawing this card can mean that a wish may be about to come true. Wow. Wow. Cancer. I do have you in my chart, but I can't tell you where. Cancers, I'm leaving your reading right there. I hope this resonated with you. This is gorgeous energy. I'm stunned. Wow. Claim this reading, Cancer. It's for you. Your new beginning awaits. And I'm claiming it for you if you don't. See you soon, Cancer. Take care. Bye for now. Love and light. Happy Lionsgate.